Okay, this one again will take more time, so better we'll go for this first JDK setup. Okay, so for JDK setup, what do you need to do? You need to install or download Java one. Okay, so what what do you need to do? So. So which version of Java you want, you can write here. So let me take JDK. Okay, go to this uh, Oracle official website. So if you don't have account, then it will ask you to create account, but I have already, so I will able to do login. Or sometimes, like there are few website from where you can download without login also. So I have already account, so it already logged in and it came to download page. Okay, so what what we need to download here? So you can check your operating system. Let's say it's a Windows 64 bit. Then take this one. Okay, download this one. JDK. It use this one. Okay, once you will download this. So you will get like this JDK 8, something like this. OK. So you have this application file. You need to click on this and click on next, next multiple time. OK, you will click on yes and then you will click next, next. So it will download that JDK. I have already installed, so I don't need to install it again. So once you will install this, then inside your program file, <coughs> program file you will be able to see this java folder and inside this you will be able to see jdk and gre so what you need to do go to jdk go to bin and copy this part. we did installation now we need to do setup so copy this path and again go to advanced setting Go to environment variable and again first go to path. And here you JDK path. See program file Java JDK this slash bin folder. You can paste it here. Click on OK. So path one is done. Next you need to create Java home. So Java home you can type. So you can create like this. Click on new. Give name here Java home and paste that particular path. Just to remove this beam. Creating any home that should be this still their parent folder. Bean and everything should be removed. And click on OK. Once you will click on OK, then this will be created here. Okay, and then click on OK. So that uh, Java Home got uh, installed and that got set up. To verify the Java version, then Java minus.
you can see here Java setup is properly done, and this is the version of Java that is 1.8.0.301. Let me know if anyone has any doubt in this. Yeah, Ravi. So the Maven and uh, Java are the, but uh, in the latest version, they have defaultly in the Anypoint Studio. Is it uh, again required to install in uh, JDK? I think in the la latest version, they are in built, right? Okay, you mean to see in Anypoint uh, Studio itself? Okay, so if you go to here. No, what I'm asking is uh, these Maven and JDK are the inbuilt uh, in this Anypoint yes, Studio latest yes. version. Correct. Again, I need to install. No, that is not, not. No, that is not mandatory one. OK, I'm just telling you if you want to do it manually, then what all steps we need to do. Okay. Sometime inbuilt one will not support what you exactly you want to do, or maybe your project is old project and you want particular Java version only. You want only particular Maven version only. Okay, okay even though it's inbuilt, uh, it is better to install, right? Uh, if you say, I would suggest yes. Okay, inbuilt one, like sometime it will not able to fulfill some functionality. So better to create your manual one. Okay, thank you. So here you will be able to see. So you can see here, this is uh, default one, Java default one.
actually right now I forgot that uh, object location where it will show you default one. You can change Maven version and all. And check links inside. So for Maven, you can see here and I selected Maven. It's saying use embedded Maven, install Maven. So what do you want to use? You want to use embedded one or you want to use select your defined one? OK, so if you will uncheck this, then it will ask you from where you want to take Maven. So you need to select that Maven folder location. And if you select this, then means it will use inbuilt Maven. OK, fine, so we are uh, like uh, done with this. Java setup also. OK, so we will take 10 15 minute break. And then we will go with this database setup. 